here's a cool little bit of science. What Batman is vacuuming up is called dry fall. Now, look at how much of this there is on the floor. I get out here where, I, where you can hear me. All right, now when we paint, we put down drop cloths, we put down big, big canvas tarps on the floor to protect the floor from the wet paint, right? Well, the wet paint, when it hits the tarp, sticks to the tarp. But when we're painting a ceiling, we make a really fine mist of paint and, you know, hope that most of it sticks to the ceiling because gravity fights that. And as you saw from, you know, my face yesterday and all that jazz, it, it, it falls. A lot of the paint falls. A lot of that paint, the really tiny particulates, are so small that they dry before they actually hit the floor. And that's what he's vacuuming up right now, because when we pick up the tarp, a lot of that shakes through and it gets on both sides of the tarp and it, it's a whole thing. So it's called dry fall. So it's kind of neat. It's just this neat little bit of science. It's, it's paint powder. And since it's already dry when it hits the floor, it doesn't actually stick to anything. And that's what Batman is vacuuming up right now. Um. Get that hair. Oh, get a couple chins in there, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's the part you gotta do is it's yank off the funny. And that's what it's gonna do. Janitor's closet between the two bathrooms if you find something. You know, if you wanna have real fun, we go get that 75,000 volt, one amp DC power supply. And you just brush it along the floor. Yeah, oh man, that'd be cool. Way cool. It'd work better if the floor was insulated, but yeah. God, it's cold in here. Like, cold in here. Let's see what's going on downstairs. You coming? Come on, dog! Come on! Come on! Let's go see what they're doing. Let's go see what they're doing. Well, you know what happened? You know what happened when you got a nice old band? You don't last long, because you, everybody wants you. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Hello, world. <laughs> Welcome back. Tell them who you are. Will Richardson. And what are you doing here? I've come to support the Geek Group in every way. So from A to Z, and we're going to start uh, preparing this room so we can do our recording room. Hi, puppy. Well, this isn't the recording room. This is a surplus room. But, but you're on B so far. You've got room. I got the room. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, you done yet? We're just cleaning stuff up. Yeah. All right. You got disconnected down there. You got that disconnected? Okay. Yeah, it's part of the old jank electrical oh. crap. Yeah. All right. We've got the video crew down here today because uh, we're, we're painting the sheep room. The sheep are going away, the cartoons are going away, the mess is going away. We're gonna clean all this up and we're gonna be painting in here today. They're assembling the Bolt Depot, we're painting that. This, this is the two big projects of the day and I'd like to get some winterization done because it's weeny shrinking cold in here today. So we're gonna plug some holes. We've been working on winterization for a year, but eh, we can do better. We need to do more winterization. That's the thing. So, stay tuned. We'll have fun as it happens. All right, there's the very first stage. We are now assembling the bolt depot. Show them how it's done, Batman. The, the high-tech assembly system here. Well, it's really neat. They got all these little boxing grooves. Yeah, they're going. like so they all stack. And it's got them on the side here too, so they they connect together yeah, like Legos. Here's their side things. Yeah, they go together like Legos. It's great. And then we got this nifty little clip here that you just if you get it centered, you just push down on it. Did you get both sides? Yep. Okay. No. No. I didn't. No. No, you didn't. See? It's not safe. We'll all die. Everybody dies. Oh, the other ones I've been. It's getting. like a NASA flow chart. It either works really well or everybody dies.
Yeah, the they, they are they are slightly the, the clips are knacky. It's easier when they're on the ground because you just tilt the box a little and it clips into place. Oh. So, of course, you can't really do that because these are... No, because you can put all three as a, in a row on the ground and just pick it up. That might be I'm, the way I'm to do it. In. I'm clipped in on that one. It won't move. I don't believe you. It's not moving at all. All right. Now you got to do this Let's one. Let's do this one. Do you have to clip? So, well, I, I, there, it, it just may be in a different go down, drawer. Yeah, they, yeah. Go, they go down a drawer or something during shipping. So get a look at this because for decades, decades to come, this picture will always look really, really weird because you'll be used to seeing this room completely filled with the big giant racks. I try something. Now here's uh, here's a little bit to start. Now that's three units right there. Okay, there's six doors per unit. This is what we're installing in there. That's that's how many we have to go. This is going to be a thing. You might want to watch out for that. I hit the box. You look like the Soviet Russian Daft Punk. Oh shit, I wonder if that's <laughs> What is that supposed to be? It's supposed to say hi, but you gotta give me the benefit of the doubt considering my head was in the box. Yeah, it's like the Russian Daft Punk. If that were true, I'd have like one of those head, like hats that has the two beers in it, so it'd be like Everclear. No, that's the Canadian Daft Punk. I would be Everclear if I was Russian. Oh, okay. We would like to thank Bolt Depot for providing not only our massive amount of fasteners that'll be arriving here any day now, but the giant bin wall, and as a total bonus, Big this awesome fort! Some assembly required. Big Jenga. I wondered when he's gonna start picking these up again. No, <laughs> really, gentlemen? Never forget. Oh! <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> I'll never forget, though. This is why we can't take him anywhere. so bad, it sounded like walking on this. That's how many roaches are in that house. Who wants one? The 
brilliant manipulation of positive and negative space that really speaks to me on a very deep level. That would work if the colors weren't so similar. But that's, that's a hint of the subtle duality of man. Okay, guys, we got mail in today from Blue Cherry. Now, if you don't know who Blue Cherry is, you need to check these guys out because we did a lot of research and uh, we've had the video team working on this for a while. Enos and Jeff and Steve and all the guys have been working on this, the, the whole security system thing. Well, you can buy a DVR. Now, a DVR, let me, let me show you over here. A DVR is a digital video recorder, okay? That's this box right here. And what this is, is this is a thing that holds the hard drives that record the video from your camera. So you have camera feeds that go into here, and this one there's 16, which is pretty much a standard for big DVRs. There's 16 camera feeds in here, and it records it and displays it and all that stuff, okay? That's a DVR. Well, DVRs cost a stupid amount of money. They're crazy expensive. So, you can, I think of what a DVR does. It takes a video input and stores it on a hard drive. It does some basic encoding. It's not really that hard to do. So, why do this with a dedicated piece of hardware DVR when you can do this with a computer? Because that's all really it really is. I mean, it's got hard drives and everything. It's just a computer. So, what we're gonna do, oh, it opens like this, is we're going to use this. And this is eight flavors of sex. Check this out. Look at that. Is that slick or what? That, which has that big thing on the back there, this is our video capture card and it does encoding and it does all kinds of stuff from Blue Cherry. You can see right here, there's our ports. There's 16 video ports there, and there's our audio ports right there. Or it might be two different kinds of video ports. I don't know if this does audio as well, but I think this does audio. I seem to remember in my head this does audio as well. So, this is the Blue Cherry H.264 16 port capture card. Its model number is BC-H16480A. Look at that. Yep, yep, yep. Video and audio, 16 channels. How hardcore is that? So this is gonna let us have a 16 channel DVR. We can put five terabytes of hard drive into it and have tons of video. It's a great thing. We're gonna be doing this working hand in hand with Blue Cherry, who was kind enough to provide the card to us. They donated this. We're gonna be working with them on the system because this is gonna be part of the boxy system. And you guys at home, card carrying members of the Geek Group, will be able to watch all 16 of these cameras. Plus, lots more, because 16 is really, we're just getting started. Okay, so it's gonna be a whole thing. This is for the boxy system. It's in the works, and now you guys know. And, uh, yep, I've got the address for the thing, so that's cool. Thank you to the cool guys at Blue Cherry. You need to go there, if you're a security geek, you need to go there right now and check that out. They do a lot of really cool, and it's open source. They do a lot of really cool, like, Linux, it's all Linux based. So, cool. You guys have fun, we'll be back. 1548 hours, and we got a new package, and it's from boltdepot.com. Fastener shopping made easy. Uh, check this out. That. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is sexy. And these are go on shelves. So, here, take that. Oh, these are, are these are sexy. Dude, Dude, make, make a stack. No, these are gonna go to the uh, fastener storage area. We got three of those, and they're sending the stuff to fill them. So, yeah, that's everything in the box. So, yeah, that's the latest. It's like a Bolt Depot day. This is great. This is just yeah. Awesome. These are look at check these out. It's like it's all it's like serious metal there. It's got a little latch. You know what we put in these? We put boom. Like <laughs> Put the Panduit so connections in there so you know. Uh -huh. You don't have to worry about someone kicking it over and spilling it. And these are serious Made in America boxes. America. From Durham Manufacturing, they made them. You can see a little sticker there. Nope. Or the, the embossing there. 
So, yeah. Thank you to the cool guys at BoltDepot.com. And to all of our members out there, if you're building a project like robotics, stuff like that, and you need bolts, especially really weird, oddball, hard to find fasteners, you gotta check out Matt and the cool guys at BoltDepot.com. And if you just like having cool stuff on your desk, if you're like a super awesome executive kind of guy like me, you gotta get a sex bolt to put on your desk. Because you can get sex bolts and mating connectors. Sex bolts. Okay, it's really creepy to actually see you do that, so be thankful you couldn't see that at home. <laughs> we'll be back after I, like, puke in my mouth a little, so you guys have fun. Alright, I don't know if that, that actually saved us. See, I have a Morgan Freeman moment, and, and that's what happens. That's when I, when yeah. I, when see, I channel no, my other Morgan Freeman. The problem was, you got pissed at something that was free. You got all sorts well, of It wasn't free, they paid for this, and then well, they donated. Well, yeah, but it was free I'm, to I'm, us. Well, yeah. But, you know, why, why should we complain that we know it was given to us, so what if it doesn't have holes in the back? That's what happens. You got pissed because they- I'm not holes. bitching at Matt. Well, no. Matt's a guy at Bolt Depot. I'm not bitching at You're Matt. You're just getting pissed because they didn't not, have holes. I'm not bitching at the company that Matt spent thousands of dollars to buy these things so they could donate them to us. I'm not bitching at them. I'm not bitching at the company that sells these. I'm bitching at the company, at the guy, because somewhere there was a guy. There was- a guy who did the engineering, who designed this intricate bit, and he did it on a computer because you don't do that. You know, that, it was done in, somebody did this in AutoCAD, okay, or Mastercam, or something like that. Somebody did proper engineering to make that work, and now I put a dent in it. Look at that, see? I, we just can't have nice things. Somebody did engineering to make this, and he had the forethought. He had the logic and the forethought to plan for the future that one day you might want to rise up and stack these damn things six high. Right. Which is exactly what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Okay. And you would think, okay, you look at that, you look at that, and that's, that's bolts. You're going to put heavy things in there. And you know that. You plan ahead. You know going in there's going to be heavy things in there. And I knew that, and you knew that, and the guy who designed it knew it. Yeah. So, why couldn't they put holes on the back? Because you might want to hook the damn thing to the wall. Right. So tomorrow we're gonna drill holes. I'm gonna put the damn thing in the wall. All right. That's the plan. Okay. Okay. Why you gotta get all worked up? You just you, you gotta relax. <laughs> a man, a man of your stature yeah. and girth, really cannot afford to get that stressed out because mm -hmm. you're you're like really two good beef burritos from a heart attack. Okay. So you gotta relax. You gotta just feel the love. I'm glad just I don't like beef burritos. All just feel the love. You smell okay. pretty. I do smell pretty. This might, I got, yeah, I got my good body. Are you like using Moose's butt? No, no, I got. It, it smells I got, kind of like girly pretty. Not, not really. I have the manliest body wash in the building. Yeah, what's that? Come here, I'll show you. Come here, I'll show you. Is it as manly as? No, my Batman? shut up. I got. Is, is it as manly as my Batman bubblegum body wash? You have Batman bubblegum body wash? Yes, I do. Okay, that's a little gay. I'm just saying. That's Red bought it for me. Oh well, hey, that, that makes it okay then. No, I have, I have proper manly body wash. Come here, it's in, it's in the shower. <laughs> Come on in here in the shower, daddy, I'll show you. No, look, see, that's my stripey towel. Is this your Mickey Mouse towel? towel? This is not, I don't know who has a Mickey Mouse towel. That's my towel, okay, and look at that. I got Gillette. Gillette. Oh, oh that's why you, I was like, I knew okay. that smell. Yeah, it's got a little, it's got a little French on it, so it might be a little faggy. And then I got my Aussie shampoo. That's faggy. That is not faggy! Yeah, it's totally faggy. Do, do you not see the camera? It's a pink kangaroo that's a faggot. It's not a faggot. It's, it's a Australian. It's Australian. Okay. Oh, right. right, right. That's like one of the manliest countries there is. It's Australian. The whole place started out as a penal colony, for Christ's sake. They're manly. They're rugged. Besides, Australian chicks, totally hot. I know. Yeah. All right, so now we've covered bolts and oh, stuff. Poor Jeff's traumatized. What? What? You got that look. See, uh, just, man. If anyone's traumatized, it should be me from that beard of it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that redneck noise? It's called country music. Oh. The country bar on the movie? There's only two kinds of music, Screech Likes, and that's country and western. <laughs> you guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Vlog. I'll see you tomorrow.